Happy Purple Friday, everybody. This might be the best Purple Friday of the year. Welcome back to Rat Bird Roost. we got a lot to talk about today. The Ravens had a huge win on Thursday Night Football last night, moved on to 8-3, and three, and more importantly, in my opinion, knocked the Bengals down to 5-5. Five and five. Um, They lost Joe Burrow for the year. Uh, that report just came out. Joe Burrow tore a ligament in his wrist or his hand. I, I didn't even have time. When I saw out for the year with torn ligament, I almost did a backflip, all right? Like, look, I know, I look, I, I shouldn't be saying that about an injury, but it's not so much about Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's respectable enough. Um, you know, he's respectful towards his opponents. He doesn't, and he can be petulant sometimes or whatever. I mean, he's an, he's an enemy, but, like, I'm not rooting for his downfall or anything. You know whose downfall I'm rooting for is Bengals fans in general. Um, the softest fan base of all time and, you know, you guys act like you, you're fucking owed something. You're not owed shit, all right? You're 0-3 all time in the Super Bowl. You play in a division in which every team has more history than you, even the Browns. Or at least the Browns have Jim Brown, all right? And, like, look, I, like, if, when you're comparing yourself to the Browns historically, usually any other team, well, at least we have a Super Bowl and the Browns haven't done shit in the past, you know, 50-plus years, uh, Super Bowl era, you're not even as good as them, guys. Uh, you guys are fucking pathetic, bottom-of-the-barrel, bottom-feeder organization that will never win a Super Bowl. Never win a Super Bowl. And I've been saying that. Even when you all got there on your fluke-ass season, I knew that the Bengals weren't going to pull through and win that game. And lo and behold, they didn't. Um, fuck you all. Honestly. Uh, you guys are the most entitled piece-of-shit fandom. Um, I am so glad... So glad that you all are getting humbled. Because you're getting what you deserve. You're going back to where you belong in the fucking cellar. Um, that's where everybody wants to see the Bengals. Like, eh, this whole national media affliction with the Bengals or whatever. Where they're, like, you know, kissing Joe Burrow's ass. Acting like the Bengals have some great fan base. I remember what that stadium looked like when the Bengals were winning three games a year. There wasn't anyone in it. You all hopped on this bandwagon when you got your pretty boy quarterback. And now that he's gone for the rest of the year... I want to see how loud and how packed that stadium is for Jake Browning. All right, you guys suck. Um, I am so glad the Bengals fans are getting humbled right now. Um, and they want to cry. They want to cry because at the end of the game, Ravens fans chanting, fuck Joe Burrow. Um, you're the fans that were throwing stuff at Big Ben when he's getting carted off the field. I know that video has been circulating on Twitter. Uh, Bengals fans rejoiced. When Lamar Jackson wasn't playing last year until, well, it's coulda, shoulda, woulda. That's Tyler Boyd's quote himself on the Bengals. Um, acting like, oh, you know, you got to come play the game. All that kind of shit. And, you know, no excuses in the playoffs when Tyler Huntley is playing a playoff game against the Bengals. Almost beat them. Outplayed Joe Burrow, in my opinion. Uh, took a freak play, a defensive touchdown for the Bengals to win that game. You could barely beat a backup in the playoffs. And you acted like... You know, it was the biggest win in your franchise's history. I mean, let's face it, it probably was because, like I said, zero history whatsoever. But, okay, it's alright for you all to celebrate when the Ravens are down bad and have a backup in. But when the Ravens knock your fucking lame-ass, you know, wuss quarterback out, because let's face it, he's more injury-prone than Lamar Jackson. He has a longer injury history than Lamar Jackson. He's missed a full season with the ACL tear, or, you know, the majority of a season, um, the calf injury this year, he's limping around, acting like a bitch, acting like he can't play. And now with this torn ligament, I mean, come on, I don't want to hear shit about Lamar's injury history. Uh, even Thursday night football is guilty of this. When he got hurt last night, when Lamar got hurt, uh, he went into the blue tent. He didn't miss a snap, but you know, he's a little shaken up, goes into the blue tent. They pulled, they had a graphic ready. They had a graphic ready showing you detailing his injury history. But they didn't do that for Joe Burrow, and he has a more extensive injury history than Lamar Jackson. Um, I'm not going to say it. I think we all know it. Um, there's an obvious reason why this is happening. Uh, it's not fair. Uh, the NFL pushes this agenda all the time. They want those guys that they can you know, put on a pedestal and, you know, market and everything. And I don't know why they don't do it. Well, I do know why they don't do it with Lamar. But, you know, it's just not right. It's not fair. And, um, I'm fucking sick of it. Like, I'm so sick of it. It's time for Lamar to get the love he deserves. Because he comes out, he's playing at an MVP level this season. 
Uh, had a great game last night, in my opinion. Uh, didn't really need to throw the ball that much, but when he did, he was on his, you know, hitting his targets. Um, Odell had his best game as a Raven. Looks like vintage Odell had 100 plus receiving yards, made some Bengals defenders look silly. Um, Gus the Bus, touchdown machine in the past five games. He has more touchdowns rushing than any other team in the NFL. Uh, Gus himself. Uh, Nelson Aguilar's little flip into the end zone last night. Uh, you know, that was a great play and everything, but they caught a BS hold on Odell that took away the Zay Flowers touchdown. But the Ravens still capitalized on that drive. But, you know, just everything about the game I thought was pretty good. And, uh, you know, the Bengals fans' tears are the best part of it. I, I really don't have any sympathy for that organization or their fans. Like I said, they are entitled. Um, they think that something's owed to them because they've sucked long enough and they got this number one pick. I, look, nothing's owed to you all. And you're never going to get it. So you might as well stop crying about it. Um, I might be a little animated today. But, you know, it's it's a little bit, you know, it's, it's vindication for Ravens fans. Um, I'm so sick of having the Bengals placed ahead of them in, like, <clears throat> power rankings and stuff like that the past couple of seasons. They were never better than the Ravens. The Ravens were just injured. Uh, it's It's so, so nice to see them finally go back to where they belong. Um, I, I held the Browns in higher regard than them in the past couple of years. I hold the Steelers. I hold Kenny Pickett's tiny little hands in higher regard than them. Um, at least the Steelers are a well-coached team with a good defense. The Bengals are undisciplined. They have dirty players. Um, like that, that win didn't come without a cost. Mark Andrews, we lost him for at least the rest of the regular season. Um, I saw some reports saying he could play in the playoffs. I mean, I don't know. Um, but they're undisciplined. Uh, Wilson, Logan Wilson on their team, he hurt. Lamar, Mark Andrews, and Odell last night. I uh, was the same guy, and he's a dirty player. Um, he has a history of being dirty. Uh, just go back to week two when the Ravens played the Bengals. He had a dirty play. Um, they've always been this way. They're the team that had Vontez Perfect. Um, you know, and it just seems like it goes with this team, like in different eras. They've always been dirty. They've always been. The ugly red-headed stepchild of the fucking division. And, you know, you know, they just, they think that they should win it. And they think, like, and they just always fuck it up for themselves. Or, you know, something like fate comes in and tells them, no, you're the Bengals. You're not going to win. Um, and to me, it's beautiful. Because we need teams in the NFL like that. We need doormats in the league. If every team had a Lombardi trophy, they wouldn't be as special. And if the Bengals got one... I feel like the Lombardi Trophy would be devalued if the Bengals ever touched a Lombardi Trophy. So, I mean, it's it's good that another year goes by where their fans get crushed. Um, it's just, you know, as a Ravens fan, it's beautiful. And um, all these Bengal tears that I'm seeing, I'm just, they're delicious. Nice and salty. Um, just how I like them. And, you know, I, I'm very happy the Ravens laid the smack down on them. Um... Enjoy watching Jake Browning for the rest of the season, Cincinnati. Now you know how it feels. Now you know how it feels. Um, and, like, you guys, you're never as good as the Ravens, like I said. But now you, you had some false sense of reality where the Bengals were one of the best teams in Joe Burrow versus Mahomes and all this kind of bullshit. And, and yeah, welcome back to planet Earth. Um, the Ravens are the team in the AFC. I feel like if the Ravens played the Chiefs right now, they'd beat them. And uh, I think the Ravens are going to win the AFC at this point. Like, they had a hiccup against Cleveland. But I feel like in a big playoff game, they're not going to let that happen this year. Um, I know. Look, their playoff records, the playoff success in the past couple seasons hasn't been there for the Ravens. But all those years have been building up for this, in my opinion. Uh, Lamar, you know, learning his way. Kind of building up. Um, learning how to play in the playoffs, all that kind of stuff. I feel like... You know, he's going to get his, and this is the year. Um, so I'm ready. I'm looking forward to it. I want to do these quick picks for the rest of this week, get my picks in for this weekend. I'm going to have a lot of fun sitting around watching football this weekend because the Ravens already played. And, uh, you know, just kind of take it easy and chill um, with a, you know, 8-3 and three record, uh, one of the best teams in the AFC. And um, some of these are really intriguing to me. So we got Pittsburgh and Cleveland. I got Pittsburgh winning that game. Cleveland doesn't have a quarterback. And, you know, Pittsburgh keeps getting all these lucky breaks. They've been outgained in, like, in every single game this season. Um, and they're going to be 7-3, and three, which is just like, 
you know, it's it's getting old. Um, but I think it, it will catch up to them eventually, but not this week. They're going to beat the Browns. Uh, Chicago at Detroit, we got Detroit, Chicago's poverty. Um, Chargers at Green Bay, we got the Chargers, Green Bay. They're not there yet. Um, I feel like, you know, Jordan Love could be the guy there, but got to be patient. Um, Raiders at Dolphins. Dolphins are going to smoke show them. The Dolphins are playing a team that's not good. They're going to smoke them. Um, Giants at Commanders. We got the Commanders just based on the fact that Tommy DeVito is starting for the Giants. Horrible year for the Giants. Uh, they were a playoff team last year. They won a playoff game, and they're going to be 2-9. and nine. Hmm. Horrible season for the Giants. Dallas at Carolina. Come on, man. We got Dallas. Um, Tennessee at Jacksonville. Although Tennessee owns Jacksonville historically, I like Trevor Lawrence in this game. The Jaguars are really good this year. The Titans, they're not terrible, but they're not good. And Levis still has a lot to prove as a starter, in my opinion. So go in Jacksonville. Uh, Arizona at Houston. I got Houston winning, being the 6-4 and four team. Um, they could actually give Jacksonville a hard time down the stretch this season. I think they already beat them once. I think they beat the crap out of them now that I think about it. Um, Tampa Bay at San Francisco. We got San Francisco. Uh, Jets at Bills. That game is going to be boring as sin. Uh, the Bills, you know, complete disaster this season in my opinion. But so the Jets season as well. I mean, without Aaron Rodgers. But I feel like if Rodgers was playing with their defense, they'd be, you know, one of the better teams in the AFC East. Uh, I think they'd be better than Buffalo, but... I feel like Buffalo wins this one. It should be an ugly game. Seattle at Rams. Seahawks, Rams. Well, the Rams beat their ass week one. I feel like the Seahawks are a pretty good team, and they should get a little bit of revenge on the Rams this week. Sunday night football. We got the Vikings and the Broncos. The Broncos are coming off that crazy win against the Bills. The Vikings have been, you know, winning games with Josh Dobbs. Uh, I got to go with Josh Dobbs in this one, man. He's been exciting to watch in Minnesota. I'm going with him. Uh... Game of the week's Monday Night Football, Super Bowl rematch, Eagles-Chiefs. I think the Chiefs, there's something off about them this year. Like, they've been winning, sure, but there's something off about the Chiefs. They're not the same team as they were last year. They're not as good. The Eagles aren't quite the same team either, but I still feel like the Eagles are better than the Chiefs. I picked the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl last year. I'm going with the Eagles this year um, in the rematch, the regular season rematch. Um... Yeah, I'm going to take the Eagles in this one. Uh, it should be a really, you know, good game. I'm going to go Philadelphia, like, let's say Philadelphia 31-23. to So it was a weird score, but we'll go with that. Um, look, I apologize for being animated today, but that's, you know, just where I am uh, as a Ravens fan. Uh, you know, huge, huge win for them. And, uh, you know, like I said, just great to see the Bengals down bad. Um and I don't wish, you know, for people to get injured or whatever. I mean, I w honestly would have rather Burrow played the entire game so they didn't have as many excuses. But the fact that he is out, um, I'm really glad Bengals fans are hurting over it. So, yeah, uh, fuck him. I, I really don't have any sympathy for him. Um, that's all I got for today. I hope you all have an awesome weekend of watching football. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back here on Monday. Um, talk about some of the games this weekend and start to look at that Ravens Chargers game. I haven't even thought about that yet because I'm living, you know, the Thursday night game still. But once we do uh, get a little bit closer to that Ravens Chargers game, that ought to be a fun one to detail. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe if you're a Ravens fan. If you're a Bengals fan, be sure to cry a little bit extra for me today because like I said, the salty tears, they're delicious. And um, I'll see you all on Monday. Peace out. Have a great weekend.